surface. All right, we're getting started in a two verse two here. I picked the Arabs because I got so blown out of the water in the last game that I have to go hobbling back to my power sieve. So let's see if I can actually play in a competent way. I got like two people private messaging me, so I'm all distracted right now. That's all right though. Who's on my team? The Germans. The Germans. All right, where's where's my dude? Where's this guy? Oh, hey, buddy. Looks like you're far away, man. Who's my teammate? This round. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message this guy. I got my Intel channel open. Well, yeah, that's a lot of trees going on over here. <laughs> sometimes yes, and sometimes not so much. But I do believe that in the, in the grand scheme of things at the macro level, I do believe that. Hey, Luca, what's up, man? How about 50 gold from this hut? It's terrible. Oh, my wife made it to the hotel safely. 
Oh. That's a pretty good excuse. That's a great excuse, actually. What's going on here? One more game? Uh, see about that. I don't know. I'm telling them. Your girlfriend just got Gulf Shores, Alabama. Not sure what you mean. going on over here? Anyone creeping up on me? Any horse armies coming? Don't see any.
Man, there are so many trees over here. This is so great. The artist is worthless. Uh-oh. What the hell? 
My UI was frozen there for a second. Hey Elliot, what's going on man? <laughs> Mongols? I know, people have been saying that. It kind of triggers me, to be honest. Must be something wrong with me. Do I know this map? Doesn't feel like it. Americans are pretty OP just because of their, uh, they really hit their stride in the medieval era. It just makes them really adaptive. You can just pump out a lot of units if you play them right.
is this map doing to me? <laughs> I put it back. I didn't keep it there. Was not expecting this over here. It's going to take like 90 years for that to get over there. Grass wash over me, we got him. Stream foul. Man, that is far.
Woo! Need this third city. <laughs> okay. Dude, I have no idea where the enemy is. My goodness, they are so far away.
Umf, umf, ah! Strohge! Jo!
Excuse me. You know what's interesting about hell? Is that people, the Soviets, tried to drill into the earth and just go down. You know, the, the earth is supposed to be like 25, what's the circumference? Like 25,000 feet? So I, I don't know what that makes the depth, but the the radius or whatever is like several thousand of miles anyway that's what it's supposed to be and the farthest they've ever drilled is about eight miles eight miles after that their drill melts and they can't get any they'll probably never get any lower than that They heard screaming down there. I don't know that they heard screaming.
<laughs> There's no way. That sounds pretty hard to believe. But, maybe. But, regardless of what you think about hell or whatever, I think it's pretty amazing that they cannot drill down because it's too hot. Of course, the belief is it's a molten core and all that. But, uh... Obviously, I don't believe that. I swear, this flat earth thing, it triggers people more than like anything else I've ever seen. People get so butt blasted. I don't know, you're talking something about shadows, oh, it's kind of an, an abstract ar uh, argument. I don't know, I don't really understand what you're trying to say. You're assuming that it's a far sun. In the in the flat Earth model, it's a near sun model. I mean, it's the the flat Earth is not millions, ninety three million miles away. So you're assuming that everything is the same. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, Brian. So they drilled down eight miles. You can you can read about it uh, if you search Russian drilling eight miles or something like that. Uh, no, any random because it would be coming from a different angle. The, the shadow would be coming from a different angle. It, in the in the flat Earth model, it's supposed to be. No one really knows one hundred percent for sure, but people guess several thousand miles. Probably four to five thousand miles. And if you do uh, triangulation, what's that called? The uh, whatever that triangle math is called, man. What the hell is that called? I haven't been in geometry in a long time. Basically, you can look at the angles and figure out what the distances are, given that you'd have certain distances that are known values. You don't see curvature from a plane. You're, you're looking through a curved window. If you look straight through the window, the, all those windows are curved. If you look through curved glass, everything looks curved. And if you stand up looking down, it's going to look curved. I mean, I, if it's curved, looking through your... Uh, it's curved looking through the airplane, then why does it look perfectly flat in other images? I mean, just look... You can go look. Ton, there's tons of videos on YouTube. You can look up high altitude balloon videos. Amateurs just putting up air, uh, high altitude balloons. And that's it. It looks perfectly flat. Now, 
who knows maybe maybe I'm wrong and it's a it's a it's a big old ball well you got to go a lot higher than 70 or 80,000 feet to get that to see the curvature I mean some people stand on the earth and they look at the beach and they think they see curvature so I don't know I think it's like manifested in their mind it's like like I don't know That's not true. I didn't know. I wasn't born a flat earther, so someone changed my mind. Uh, yeah, that's what the Bible says. The Bible says hell is below us and heaven's below above us, so... Yeah, that's what I believe. Who changed my mind? Eric Dubay. Eric Dubay changed my mind. You know, a lot of people say that, Bjorn Bolig, but you know what? Christians and the Jews that preceded them were flat earth from Genesis to Revelation, so I don't know. The only reason they changed is because a bunch of Freemasons brainwashed them and convinced them for the last 500 years that they were wrong about something that was obviously... I mean, your everyday experience tells you that the earth is flat and that the stars are above you. Now... They've come up with a model that is not intuitive. Uh, you would never walk around and just guess that. You would have to come up. You know, in their case, they believe they did the science, and that's what it shows. Uh, you're, again, you're assuming the temperature of the sun changed, but the distance didn't, so... No, the sun would not kill everybody. You're assuming the temperature stayed exactly the same from 93 miles away, and then we only changed one variable. The... Distance. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, they benefit from it because they convince you that, well, they're basically they're saying Genesis chapter one, God's already wrong about everything. So why would you believe anything in the Bible? The Bible says that Satan is a great deceiver who deceiveth the whole world. That's what it says in Revelation chapter 12. And that's what I believe they're talking about in that case. I believe that he deceives the whole world. Not just that, but other deception is as well. It says that it deceives the whole world so that that means I'm also deceived about something. So I, I'm also deceived. There's something I'm f deceived about. I don't know what it is, but the, the devil is a powerful deceiver. And uh, you have to be aware of that. And there are people that he, he puts his people in high places and he's gonna, he's gonna pull a fast one on you. That's why you look at all of the popular entertainment in the world and it's just a bunch of jokers and a bunch of total idiots like Katy Perry and Lady Gagme and all these other losers. That's the why the world is the way that it is, man. No, it doesn't say that it's round. It says the circle of the Earth. The circle is a 2D geometric shape. Bjorn Bullock. Not a 3D. <laughs> 2D, you can draw a circle on anything. You can draw a circle on a record player. You can draw a circle on a stereo speaker. And that's how magnetism w works. 
because you have the uh, your negative at the bottom at the outer ring and then your positive at the top and that's how your compass works because you basically have positive at the North Pole You're gonna, you're gonna keep harping back that I don't know Greek and Hebrew. Let me tell you something. God invented all of the languages, and He can communicate with me just fine in English. You don't, I don't need to understand Hebrew in order to understand the Bible. make Baron build a full archer army in every single city that he has. Well, of course, space is a complete lie. Anything you hear about outer space is a complete lie. And that's why you don't have a space elevator or anything like that. No, this is bad. Well, it just doesn't exist. You can't go to outer space. <laughs> no, the pylons didn't put didn't put the window the windows on the airplanes. You know there used to be a Concorde that used to fly f at 55,000 feet. I I thought that would be kind of cool if they kept that plane, but they just like canceled it. I don't know why. Why would they cancel it? Hey, let me just make you a promise. You're never going to ride on a space elevator, okay? You're not going on any space elevators. You're not going to outer space. Nobody's going out. You're not going to live on Mars. You're not doing any of that stuff.
So you can get flustered and keep asking me questions, but the, I'll, I'll promise you none of that's ever happening. You watched a, launch, a rocket launch into space? How high did it go? I mean, the, the North Koreans launch missiles into space all the time. Does that mean they're flying to the moon, going out of flying through outer space? The space station? Oh, the space station that flies through outer space at like a billion miles an hour. Through outer space at like a billion miles an hour, and then like never ever hits any space debris or anything like that. <laughs> the ISS. Those are done in airplanes. So basically they uh they do like free fall. They know, they have this technique where they, they you can even go search. There's a company that does it. There's a company that drops altitude and then it like syncs up with and it makes it look like zero gravity. You can go Google it. You can go on air you can go on corporate like flights as like a customer. It's a service they offer. You can go Experience zero G as a, you don't even have to be an astronaut. Because no one's asking me about it. <laughs> you sound like you've been defeated. You just like changing the subject all of a sudden. That sounded like a retreat to me, buddy. Changing the subject.
<laughs> the ISO. This guy is like rushing. As long as I got him. Dude, the moon landing is like mainstream conspiracy theory. Like nobody, like so many people doubt the moon landing. Like, are you serious? That's like, you've like never heard of that? I mean, that's pretty common. I'm like not the first person to not, to doubt that. I mean, what do you think the firmament is in the Bible? What do you think that even means? <laughs> You've been to space? Oh. There you go. I don't understand how this guy has like archer armies in every city. It's kind of expensive. One boy needs more than one city. I don't know what he's doing. It's a psychological operation. you 
Man, could this boat have taken a worse route? things here.
I seriously going to take this capital? This guy's building roads and everything. How much freaking money do you have, dude? Irrigation? What?
Oopsies. Night, Mr. Minecraft. Honestly, I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> this is, uh... So if you've said anything in, like, the last five minutes, I've, I definitely missed it. It's, uh, attacking the... Aztecs here has been a little intense. city up there. Uh, yeah. Had a few lucky breaks. Thankfully. This could be, uh, like that whole boat fiasco. That was lucky.
All right, let's see. What can we get? Damn, someone got invention. See, will I get something worthwhile? Great artist. Shame on you. Don't you have any nice jokes?
<laughs> Thanks, man. I am definitely one of the coolest Civ Rev streamers. I think I gotta be up there somewhere. You got one. That's really nice. Thanks, Isk ask if you want joke. That's really nice of you. Yeah, we're live.
she's not in town right now. And I usually stream at night, so it wouldn't really make sense to eat at night. Don't you stop eating after dinner? Give you more Bible lessons. <laughs> kind of busy.
Wow. <laughs> so lucky. Shox Rocks, thanks for joining up, man. Thanks for the follow. Not gonna lie, gotten very lucky in this game. It's kind of how these games go, I guess. I don't take Viagra. Viagra is for people that need it. I don't need Viagra. Maybe PewDiePie needs some Viagra. Because his wife, his, his little girlfriend still is not pregnant. Makes me go, hmm. Hmm. I'm just saying, it didn't take me that long to get my wife pregnant. Actually, I think we tried one time and we had twins. So I had a 200% success rate with our first kid. That was actually a pretty good game. I got really lucky in those naval battles. Holy cow. Man, Brits were strong in that game. I think that's actually my first team win. Pretty pathetic. <laughs> I 
Uh, that's all for tonight, guys. If you guys are feeling froggy, I think I'm going to experiment with a little Darkest Dungeon tomorrow. If you guys would like to join up and uh, argue with me all day tomorrow, that'd be cool. I'm down. I'll be here. And uh, if I get tired of that, I don't know. We'll try that game. We'll see how that goes. Got to mix it up a little bit. A little bit. See if Rev stills, stills the... Uh, the core of this channel but all right guys thanks for joining up and uh get some sleep it's late it's late here anyway go watch some high altitude balloon videos for a while <laughs> high altitude rocket videos <laughs> until you repent of your heresy all right good night guys <laughs>